Hello, Booktube. Well, that fateful moment has come. <laughs> I said for months and months that it would not come. But somehow or other, enough people took a wrong turn when they were meanting, meaning to go to Criminali's channel or Michael K. Vaughn's channel, and this channel reached 16,000 subscribers. That is mind-boggling to me. That makes no sense to me. That is almost diabolical. <laughs> But it nevertheless happened. There was that gray zone when, you're, when your channel ticks over where it could always tick back. Because keep in mind, BookTube is the same thing as YouTube at large in that 60% of all the traffic is bots. <laughs> Just bots talking to each other, bots trading with each other and whatnot. Uh, but no, it isn't, it isn't ticking back. So since we've hit 16K, we will do a QA. and a uh, on this channel. So I want, I'm calling for questions this time. As I've said, I said it on a live stream. I do not understand where these questions are coming from. I make a bunch of videos every day. I do live streams all the time. I'm open in email about any questions you might have. How can you possibly have any questions for me? But every time I say that, you then have questions and they're always really good. So uh, we'll use this email, this, this uh, video as a collection point for those questions. With the usual caveats, I say them even though they're not necessary anymore. This is, I'm preaching to the choir. I'm not going to get any uh, wild, errant misfires or whatnot, but I, I thought I would add uh, a f the normal caveats. Which one is leave your question on this video. Don't say, don't e if you email me and say, hey, I saw your Q&A video, and I thought I'd email you my question. I, I will get it. I will thank you. I will have every intention of adding it to the list when I collate these things in order to answer them. And I won't. So you'd be wasting your time. So if you have a question to ask, you should ask it on this video, in the comments of this video. Uh, and caveat number two would be, uh, thou shalt not put the Lord thy God to the test. No gotcha questions, if possible. Uh, so, of course, uh, what are some egregious examples that I've had to just comb through over the years of doing Q&As? Uh, this is an English language channel. If you leave your language, if you leave your question in some other language, either because you're trying to be obnoxious or because you're, you're sotto voce declaring that you don't believe I can read the question, I'm going to ignore it. So it's a waste of your time. It's a waste of your time to do. I'm not going to mention it. I'm not going to uh, say anything about it in the q and I'm just going to ignore it. If you leave... Uh, a challenging question. What do you think about the works of such and such an author? When such and such an author is an obscure invented author that was created by Thomas Nash 400 years ago, and you're testing to see whether or not I will get that, I'm going to ignore it. I'm just going to strain it out and ignore it. So you, you would be wasting your time to do it. Again, I'm preaching to the converted because nobody ever does that. One thing that people tend to do is uh, to not, get, not let go of the microphone. I'm sure that you have seen the Q&A sessions at the end of discussion videos on YouTube many times, where inevitably there will be that one person who uses their time at the microphone to lecture rather than ask a question. Moderators often say, if you, if you don't ask a question, I'm just going to have someone take the microphone away from you. And then they never do it. <laughs> but, uh, so if you could keep your questions brief, that would be great. If you have a gigantically long series of questions to ask, you could always ask them in an email, or even there. It better, more, more worth your while to break them up. Uh, and also, one other caveat it would be that in the Q&A, nothing is off limits in the Q&A, uh, but if you ask a question that doesn't work, in, a, uh, in the Q&A, I am going to collate all of these answers, put them in a document, and read them off and answer them while I'm making a video, while the camera is rolling, so to speak. So if your question is, could you please tell me your first 150 thoughts about Herman Melville? Well, I can't answer that in the format that is the format in which I am going to answer the question. I can't do that. If you, if you leave a question saying, um, uh, uh, V.S. Pritchett and, and, uh, and V.S. Naipaul, uh, could you compare and contrast them, their worldviews, their, the resonances of their faith, either active or relegated? <laughs> Obviously, I can't answer. I won't answer that question in a Q and A. So you have to, you have to, as the 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 blue haired alt left scolds among us say, you have to read the room. <laughs> okay, ask a, a question that will work in a Q and A, rather than you know, could you please give me a doctoral dissertation and take all the time you want. I always love it when when people see it, send emails like that, basically asking me to write a, a document for them free. Of course, they're not they're not meeting any kind of financial threshold on my part. They're not offering me $65 an hour 
that are offering me a flat fee of nine hundred and fifty dollars. Instead, they're saying we we write what amounts to a doctoral dissertation for me for free. And I always love it when in the the cherry on top of cluelessness, they end up by saying take as much space as you want. <laughs> Thanks, Seymour. I'm not going to take any space at all. How's that work for you? <laughs> So if you could if you could not do the equivalent of that, that would be great. But all of these things are really for newcomers. It stands to reason, as uh, just by logic, that there must be newcomers, or we would still be at twelve hundred subscribers where we belong. Uh, so for newcomers, I, I, I would appreciate it if you would uh, no no bratty tests that show that you're only here to make trouble. No uh, barrages of questions if you can help it. Certainly no essay questions that I, I'm not going to be able to answer. No, nothing like that. That would be great. And also, leave them here. Leave them on this video. This is where I'm going to look for the questions. If there are any, I promise I won't be offended if there aren't any. <laughs> it just seems inconceivable to me that there would be any questions left that you could ask me. <laughs> but but we hit 16K. Didn't we really? Oh. Um, oh. Um. Oh, when I hit 1K, she hadn't even been born yet. When I hit 1K, probably her mother hadn't been born yet. Huh? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, my snark notwithstanding, thank you. Of course, thank you. And uh, we'll see what, what comes up. Uh, this weekend for the Q and A, so uh, I will, I will, I will. Whatever answers, whatever questions come up, I'll answer them this weekend. So I'll wrap this up for now. And I'll see you soon. Thank you, Booktube.